you going, mate? What's your name, buddy? Alfie. 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 Yeah. Good to meet you, Alfie. Yeah, I'm calm. You're calm? Yeah. So am I. So what do you think is about this statement on the sign? I don't even know what it means, mate. Can you explain it? Okay, so a live auction is where they sell off cattle to yeah. other farmers. So yeah. they have them in this big sale yard and they bid on, bid on them and they sell calves and, you know, pigs and yeah. lambs. And I'm saying that it's the slave trade. What do you think about that? It's not. It's not? No, because it's an animal, isn't it? Okay. It's an animal and we've been doing it for like millions of years, mm -hmm. centuries. Yeah. So if it's wrong, why try and fix it? If it's wrong, right? Trying so we well so animals can't be enslaved, and also we, we we've been enslaving each other for thousands of years too. Just because we've done something for a long time, do you think that justifies us still continuing to do it today? Well, no, because the slave trade and that it was people on people, yeah. And as you know, people on people, it's not good. Yeah. But with the slave trade of animals, that they're, they're made to be killed, ain't they? And animals yeah. eat other animals. Yeah. We just overdo it, I admit to that, we overdo it, yeah. we should cut down on it, yeah. but... Okay, so animals do something to each other in the wild or whatever, do you think that justifies our behaviour in a civilised society? And also you said they're just animals or it was something along those lines, I can't remember. Yeah, do you, you don't think, uh, uh, slavery is only uh, human on human, that's what you said. You don't think animals can be victims of slavery? No. So what is it about them that sort of exempts them from being victims of slavery? Well... I think what exempts them from being slaves is, uh, how do I put it, it would be like, that you, a slave would still get money or something, wouldn't they? No, no, slaves are property, they are used. Yeah, but you'd, you'd, if you looked in the history, they'd still get a house or something, or they'd still be treated bad. Not necessarily, a slave is owned by their owner, and they might have been, yeah. had slaves that have had, you know, different, granted yeah. different yeah, of rights course. of freedom. Of but they're, they're, at the end of the day, they're owned by their... Yeah, they're owned. Yeah. The animals are owned. People were owned. They were, yeah. Yeah. But we have rights protecting us now. And are you saying we should just let animals roam free? No, I'm just saying, uh, do you think that the fact that we treat them as property and as products, uh, do you think that that's slavery? But you're saying that animals can't be enslaved. There's something about them that makes them exempt from being slaves. I was just wondering what you thought that was. Uh, what characteristic they possess that we don't. Characteristic that we don't. Uh, so we obviously have something special yeah, about no, us that makes... we have something special about us, but it's that thing of you can't find something special about an animal, can you? Yeah, they're, well, they sent they're in... They're the same, really, ain't they? You just well, not necessarily, but they, they... Let's talk about what we have in common. Like, we're all sentient, we feel pain and suffer, we want to live, so do animals. They value their lives and, and families. They don't want to uh, they don't, die. They don't have value to anything, though. If you've got to think about it, yeah, you're, you're trying to put an animal onto a human intelligence. A bit, Not yeah. necessarily. Well... I, I talked about what we had in common... Yeah, and we have they, we share they, intelligence. They we share intelligence, don't we? And they sent you know what yeah, sentience they, they is. They're aware. Yeah, they got sentience, but they don't have value of anything. We value things. An animal will not. They don't value their their child, for instance. No, because they're built to protect their child. Their they, their nature is to protect. So is ours. Yeah. So is ours. Yeah. Our nature is to kill. Our nature is to kill. Yeah. Is I'm not? getting a bit nervous. What no, about I kill each other? No, I'm serious though. We don't kill each other though, yeah, do we? we? Do. No, but you don't. No, because I'm not in a war. Yeah, but if we had to defend ourselves, that would be different to enslaving and killing animals, sir? What do you mean? Like, like, so you're saying in a war you would defend, you, you know, yourself, like that would be justified. Yeah. But if the victim hadn't done anything wrong to you, like, say, in the context of animals, do we still have that killer instinct? Yeah. The world's a cool place, mate. Yeah. That's, that's literally it. The world's a cool place. You ain't going to change it. No matter how many times you try and say anything. But most people, like, they have this moral code that they adhere to. So, like, with each other, we wouldn't try to hurt each other. You know, you wouldn't go up and assault some innocent person. Uh, it's not moral code. It's more, we've got laws now. Yeah. Like, let's Protecting say, us. Yeah, we've got that. laws yeah. protecting us. Back, back in the day, let's think yeah. about, like, 1800s, yeah? yeah? People didn't care. You'd get, like, go out in the streets. If you looked like you had a bit of nice money, yeah? You'd get yeah. beaten up and it looks like it was your neighbour who was going to yeah. beat you up. But we've become civilised now, haven't we? Because our laws are better. They're better than they protect us yeah, from they that. Protect us if we, if you, yeah. as people, yeah. If you just let everyone like the purge, you let everyone go, yeah. Everyone's going. You know what, yeah. I can do what I want now. Yeah. Yeah. You just got to add that little switch, yeah. Every person can have it and go. So we have laws protecting us from violent people and from slavery. And why don't we have laws protecting animals from we those do. things? We do. Uh, like I hear you. Like, like cows. Cows. Well, because it's not, it's not an animal that you see as a pet, really. 
Uh, yeah, that's that's where well, I want to. That's also, a good place to go, actually. What about so, what is the moral? What's the moral difference between dogs and cows that we don't? We we, we wouldn't. I don't think there is a moral difference. I think if you can kill a cow, you can eat a dog. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't mind you. If, so like, you don't care about killing dogs and killing no, cows? No, because it's one of them ones where it's kill or be killed, eat or be eaten. So, in if, my opinion, if we don't kill and eat cows, we w we won't survive as a species. You don't think? No, it's just we could eat by plants and that, but it's just how you're preferred, ain't it? It's how you prefer. Like a carnival won't just go around and go and like, oh, I yeah. might just start eating that. It's made to eat meat, ain't it? They are. They're, they're in a survival situation, eat. though, aren't yeah, they? They're in a survival. Us. We're we're sort of not like we but can go on that Tesco there want. and we can do what I want. Yeah. We can go like you know what? Yeah, I want to change and have just plants and that like the apes do. Yeah. Like they're they're omnivores, but it's something that you want to change. Like we have a what you're saying is we have a choice whether we we choose to eat products that harm and enslave animals and we have a choice to eat plants so why don't we make the more ethical choice you can't make a choice for seven billion people in the world but you can like we talk about your only we only want to talk about you because yeah. there's other people that do yeah, yeah. so let's talk about your your, yeah. your situation if you have a choice to buy products that enslave and kill animals and you have a choice to eat plants that you know mimic the same flavors why wouldn't you make the more ethical choice that's what i wouldn't because it ain't really i prefer real meat I prefer it. I so like you prefer it. the taste of it. Yeah, that's interesting. I hear this a lot, and I used to. Obviously, I've eat, eat animals my whole life up until 26. Yeah, but you've done the thing of you changed. You you got more yeah. soft-hearted, like yeah, the animals. Well, like, not necessarily yeah. soft-hearted. I just don't think it's justified. Yeah, it's it. not yeah. justified. Like, I've got mates who are all the same, yeah. but it all just comes down to they all just go like it's prefer preference, ain't it? Do you think you have to be soft to, to care about justice to animals and animal cruelty, or? No, because I'll, I'll be honest, yeah, if I saw someone kick a dog in the face, I wouldn't like it either. You'd probably stop them, yeah? Yeah, like if anything, like with a cow, yeah. What if, if they start... didn't stop, what would you do? Well, it's the fact of like... Would you defend them, the animal? Yeah, because yeah. you're kicking a dog that ain't like... Done nothing wrong to done you. Done nothing wrong. It's like a cow, yeah? But if, it was, if that dog was made to be eaten, yeah, and they just started trying to kill it, I'd be like, you're trying to eat it. Now we're here at the point of like, if they are bred for a certain purpose, then morals go out the window. Yeah. Does that, that make logical sense to you, though? Well, let's say this, yeah. Let's how about you just start breeding like people, like you got in in a family breedings and that, yeah? yeah. Do you think they should just stay there, like into family humans breeding? Yeah, like. Well, I, I, I don't. If we were breeding humans for the purpose of enslaving them and killing them, I wouldn't think that that was ethical just because we were breeding them for a specific purpose. You know what I mean? I feel like I'm getting lost off track, mate. Sorry, yeah. you're just chatting like, too we're quickly. Just for me. We're just talking about breeding animals. Okay, I'll, I'll slow it down a bit. We're breeding animals for a specific purpose, and yeah, you say are. that that makes it okay because because we're breeding them for that purpose. Yeah. It's different to just hitting and killing an innocent dog on the side of the road where you would defend the dog. Yeah. But if we were breeding humans for a specific purpose, let's just say to yeah. enslave and kill them and eat them, you wouldn't yeah. think that that was ethical. Well, if they're made for that, do we you? Do you? Interesting. So with the statement here. I know I'm going off into yeah, a little. No, I, I'm, fine, I'm, fine, I'm, I'm trying to find like holes in the logic because for me it doesn't. I don't think it's ethical to, you know, harm the innocent when we don't need to. That's what I'm trying to find with you. And I think that you're, you know, I've thought about this for a little bit longer. So this might be the first conversation you've had like this. No, so. I've had many. I've got many vegan friends. I, I just, I just go with the same thing. I'm going to keep doing what I want. That, you can't uh, stop me. Yeah, no. Well, I'm. I'll, I'll, go, I'll get a bit childish with it. I do. I'll be honest. I will go yeah. like, no, you can't change me. But I don't think you, you... You seem like a bloke that's like against animal cruelty, you know what I mean? Yeah. You, you just admitted that to me. If you've seen someone hurt an animal... Like, but when we pay for animal products, they go to the slaughterhouse, they get tortured, they get their animals... Uh, their, their, their children taken off them, they get enslaved. But we're making that unconscious choice because we don't see it. Mm. Well, I think... You're saying they don't see it, yeah? The world's just seeing it. It's just turning a blind eye to it, mate. I'll be ignoring, honest with you. Ignoring it. Yeah, like... I admit, all this stuff, like putting the rights in that like I'll be honest we do it over a bit but you ain't gonna ever change them yeah. like fully yeah. you can make it a bit better like but you ain't gonna stop the farming products nothing like that mate we could talk about whether or not it will ever stop but like we probably won't stop murdering and raping and killing each other either like will we as a species like we still that mm. will still happen I don't do that though no so I make my own moral choices just like you do so we could talk about what moral choice you you would make and what you feel a responsibility to make and if you think like when you purchase these products, are you going against your own no. values of animal cruelty? No. Um, if I go and purchase a product, it's not violating... I think that's everyone here. Like, it wouldn't violate them because they're going out and buying it. Mm. Yeah. It's, it's the fact that I don't think most of them wouldn't be able to do it, though. Like, most so of them... they pay someone else to do yeah, it, yeah? They, they, that's, that's what humans do. They don't want to do the hard work, so they'll pay someone else to do it for them. 
So we've all got blindfolds on when it comes to purchasing these products that kill animals, yeah? Yeah, because, like, hunter-gatherers and that, yeah, they've yeah. got the most respect for animals I've ever seen. Like, you see any documentaries on them, yeah? Because they, they go out work for their food, yeah? They'd even bury the parts that they don't use. Because they're in a survival situation. they're in a survival situation, yeah? yeah? But because we've overproduced everything, yeah, everyone's just like, I don't see nothing, mate, you're all right, we don't care about it no more. That's but if, right. if you literally said to everyone, yeah, you've got to go out and kill your own food, yeah, they'll be like, Half the uh, population yeah, straight away like, vegan. Like this, like, I might actually try vegan. Yeah, like, yeah, I don't yeah. want to go out and try and like, kill a cow. A scared cow, like, yeah. you know, do, like, doesn't want to die. Mate. It's just yeah, like... Yeah. Yeah. I don't think you would probably be able to do it either, because I oh, definitely couldn't. You, you well, don't definitely, know me well, mate. Well, well, if you didn't have to do it to survive, and a, a, a cow or a pig was cowering in the corner, do you think you could still stab them in the throat? If you didn't need to, if I had a vegan burger right there? Well, what situation is it that I'm like going to... Like this situation that we're in right what, now, there's a Tesco situation? there, well, there's I a don't, Tesco I don't there. I get licked, yeah, for just going up to that cow, stabbing it. You're what are you saying? What are you trying to say to... Because you're literally saying, yeah, go to that cow, stab it. No, I'm saying, like, if in a situation like this where we have alternatives, right, yeah. and there was a cow there, yeah. and you didn't feel it was a survival situation, well, you had you to kill him. a burger, yeah, and a vegan burger, and be like, which one do you want? Why do I got to go kill it? Because if you choose the meat burger, a cow gets stabbed in the throat. So I'm trying to get that part in the middle that's taken out. So, so when you yeah, purchase, I'm not needing to make my food, so I don't need to do it. Yeah. I could, I could. I'll tell you that now. I could, I could go to a cow, kill it, yeah, and feel nothing of I it. I could probably do it if I had to too. No, not even have to. I could do it. Just, like, just, just do it. But I just don't because I don't need to. Because I, I'll be honest, with you, I don't have any emotional attachment to that cow. Nothing. Mm. So what's killing it going to do to me? Yeah, probably nothing, but do you think if we don't have emotional attachments to others, then that therefore... You need to make them emotional connections. Then that, that's, that's humans, like people yeah. make connections with their animals. Because I don't have emotional connections with all these people walking past yeah, so either, you, but I wouldn't go wouldn't hurt them. Wouldn't I wouldn't hurt them, though. No, you wouldn't care, though, if they died tomorrow, though. I wouldn't, but I wouldn't no. go up and kill them. No, I wouldn't go up to kill a cow, but I wouldn't care if it died tomorrow and it weren't my fault. Well, when we pay for animal products, we're paying a hitman to kill the cows for yeah, us. You pay pensions for soldiers to go over and kill other people. Yeah, taxes. Are you talking about taxes? Yeah, so you'll, it's the same thing, really, mate. Well, that's some sort of unavoidable taxes, but like making your choice in what? the supermarket is. I'm gonna punch you straight up. <laughs> oh fuck them! You got an emotional. Gonna you it. got they're an emotional. Mock it, bruv. I'm gonna punch him up. They got. A, you got an emotional attachment to him? Or? No, I don't. I'd kill him tomorrow, mate. I'll be honest. <laughs> for a burger. <laughs> yeah, for a burger, mate. So for a vegan burger, for I'll a, tell you that now. I'll punch for him straight <laughs> up. Yeah, for a vegan burger, I'd do it over him, mate. Anyway, so we'll get back to the statement, then we'll cut it off because yeah. I've had a good conversation with you, mate. I appreciate you sitting no, that's down fine. here. Um, live auctioning of animals, treating them as property, selling them off. Uh, they have no liberty, no rights, no freedom. Do you think that that's the slave trade? I don't care what you whether you think it's you'd do it, you'd keep doing it, or whether it still exists. Do you no, think objectively honest, it's? The, I don't think it's. You don't think it's trade. a slave trade? In my honest opinion, I don't think okay. it's a slave trade. All right, no worries. We'll leave it at that. I I, I beg to differ. Well, yeah, you beg to differ, but <laughs> that's what people are. They have different opinions, ain't they? It? Do. They do. All right, have a Appreciate good day, though, mate. I'd like you to like, have your fun with this. Yeah? Cheers, brother. Right, have a good one. <laughs> oh, okay. I like to have an argument. You got me there again.